There is a prevailing argument amongst promoters of the vegan and vegetarian lifestyle that eating meat is cruel because eating meat involves killing animals. It is very easy to believe that the eating of meat is cruel to the animal involved. But what if raising animals for their meat was actually the more humane option? Proponents of living a lifestyle that does not involve meat often suggest that animals should be allowed to live out their natural lives from birth to death without humans cutting that life short. While it certainly sounds humane to do so, it overlooks the very cruel law of nature that is informally referred to as the Rule of Two. The Rule of Two states that for an ecosystem to stay in homeostasis, that on average, every adult pair that mates will only have two offspring that go on to mate. In other words, for every two parents, there will be two children that grow on to have their own descendants. So even though a fly lays hundreds of eggs, only two of those will go on to reproduce. The same goes for frogs, rats, dogs, elephants, and so on. Let me explain this with an example. Let's say we have a perfect ecosystem. Flies lay hundreds of eggs. Those eggs grow up to be larvae and then flies. Frogs happen to eat flies and their larvae. So even though there are hundreds of flies for every frog in the ecosystem, the frogs feast on enough of these flies so that when it is all said and done, there will only be enough mating pairs as the previous generation. This is a rule of averages, so some years may allow for flies to flourish, which leads to more food for frogs, which leads to more frogs, which leads to less flies, which leads to less frogs, which leads to more flies, to the point that this all evens out over time. While this example is a bit basic, it shows something that is often overlooked when talking about avoiding meat for reasons of compassion. Nature is very cruel. For species that are not human, most offspring do not get to live long enough to become parents because in nature, animals die as they are being eaten alive, starved to death, or slowly die from disease or infection. Raising animals to harvest their meat, however, has a much higher ratio of animals that get to live long enough to mate, since at the very least, females live long enough to reproduce multiple times. And even when we factor in the part about animals dying, the vast majority of farm animals die from a very quick and near painless death, which is a heck of a lot better way to go than by dying from disease or being captured and literally clawed and bitten to death. I'm not trying to imply that the rule of two justifies factory farming. The living conditions that animals must endure in factory farming situations is truly appalling and it requires its own separate argument. But when talking purely about animal lifespan, farming allows for an overall longer average lifespan than nature. Under humane living conditions, such as free range or open pasture, animals get to live in a lower stress environment compared to nature, since the fear of being eaten alive is not ever present. Thank you for watching this video. It was not made with the intent to turn anyone towards or away from eating meat, but was made to highlight the fact that raising an animal for it to be used for food isn't necessarily worse than nature on average. Until next time, I'm Jim Hoos, that's a fact jack, and you can take it to the bank.